and we're live <laughs> welcome in that's a little noise that lets me know i'm live uh welcome in to the flipping hippos everyone that is already here it is tuesday january 29th side note it is keith's birthday today so if you guys see him about in the facebook groups let him know that he's old he's 30 today <laughs> Um, hi, Slob Hand Secrets. Thank you for coming in and thank you for loving our channel. We appreciate it. So I tried to go live earlier today and the internet was not having it. Um, called the, our internet provider for like the fifth time in a couple of months probably. And they're always placating me and saying it's the weather. And I tell them no, and we're not even getting the speed that we pay for. And they're like, well, on our end, you are. And then they do the mythical, we've reset your router. I don't believe in that, but <clears throat> it's working again. So it could be the weather. It's like really cold here and snowing on and off. So who knows? Hi, Trina. Hi, Sandra. Plaid Hatters Guild. Donatella is here. Thank you guys for coming in. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes for Keith. Um, he won't come on camera, even though it's his birthday. I tried to get him to pop in and say hi. Um, since I had to go late, go live later than I planned, and he's home. He's hiding. Um, he is going to put the meatloaf in the oven for me, though, so that I could be on from 4 to 5. Um, so even on his own birthday, he's, he's putting the meatloaf in the oven, you guys. He's a great guy. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my Internet. You guys know this has been a struggle, like, since I first started doing live shows, it has just been a struggle. It's been one thing after the other. And every time we get something fixed, you know, we bought me a new laptop. We bought a new wireless um, transmitter thing. We bought a new router. We got an HDMI cord, or not an HDMI, an Ethernet cord, Ethernet cord, just so that I could be hardwired to the router and not do a wireless anymore. Um, and every time we fix a problem, something else happens. So at this point, I'm sure it's the provider and... Um, I'll be calling them again tomorrow. I think I'm just going to like blatantly be like, you give me a free month and you fix fix it and give us what we're paying for. Or, you know, there's other companies in Pittsburgh. Lots of them. Carrie Berry's mom is here. Hi. Tim's in the house. Katie's here. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, I have two calculators up here I pulled up. I'm going to do what I used to do. Remember when I used to tell you guys how many items we bought and what we paid for them? I'm prepared today. <laughs> so we went to two different Goodwills and we ended up with 61 total items, which really isn't a lot um, because we list probably like 150 to 300 a week, depending on how busy we both are. But between the two of us, a bad week, we list 150 and a good week is about 300. And we only brought 61 home. But we are working through our I don't want to piles. We do not have any death piles anymore. Those are gone. We don't even have backup in case we get snowed in piles anymore. But we have a ton of stuff up in the serial killer room. And it's all the I don't want us. And we have a lot of them. And there are shoes and handbags and hard goods and bags of crap from yard sales. So we're trying to force ourselves to get through these I don't want us. And we've already been snowed in one weekend, which forced us to start on, in on them. So we kind of backed off and just went to two Goodwills. We were a little cherry picky and we only got 61 items to kind of force us to keep going with the I don't want us. And on those 61 items, we spent $92.47. So you can tell that we paid up for a couple of items. We didn't get everything that we purchased for 99 cents because we paid $92. But you know what? I don't even have the coupe de gras. I don't even know where it is. We got something amazing this weekend. And I believe it's actually in the other room because it was being tested by Keith. But I will get to that in a moment. Let me check up with the comments. The provider is not Comcrap. We have Verizon um, Fios. It's, a, you know, the underground. It's supposed to be better. The Fios is supposed to be a better way of getting internet. And we pay for, like, the business class. And we don't get anywhere near the speed we're supposed to. If You can go to test.com if you guys don't know that to see your speed. Um, we're not getting what we pay for. And quite frankly, it's getting annoying. And they keep blaming it on the weather. 
they tell me, oh, it's cold, it affects the wires, or oh, it's snowing, oh, it's raining. So, um, <laughs> I'm reading Tim's comment. Tim's funny. You guys, Tim is a funny, funny guy. If you don't follow Hex Treasures, you should definitely be subbed to him on YouTube and follow him on Instagram. Um, he's hilarious. Like, I never talk to Tim and don't smile until my face hurts and laugh. He is just a really funny guy. He also knows stuff, too. He's not just a clown. He actually knows a really good amount about vintage and stuff. Um, thank you, Holly. I will relay that to Keith. Grandma Wrinkles. Hi, how you doing? All right, so I got 61 items I've got to show you guys, and I want to do it in under an hour. Um, so 60 items because the one item is missing. So we did find a DVD VCR combo. You guys know that's like my favorite thing to find when I'm outsourcing. Um, DVD VCR combos, pardon my French, they are the shit. You guys, get them. I don't even care if they're generic brands. If you can find them, 10 bucks or less, pick them up. Um, even the generic brands will do really well for you. It's better if they have the manual and or the remote with them. Obviously that makes them more valuable. Sony's probably one of the best brands you can find. So Sony's one that we would pay up to 10 bucks for. We got this generic one. We've never heard of the brand before. It had the manual and the remote with it taped on the top and it was $6 and we've comped it. It's about $60 plus shipping, plus additional charge for shipping. So if you were you know, to figure it out, probably like $70 total on this generic we've never heard of that we paid six bucks for. Um, and of course, a lot of the value is in the fact that it still had the manual and the remote control with it, but it is in the other room. It's hooked up to our TV. Um, Keith was testing it. Fun fact, you guys, we have a Beauty and the Beast Christmas v VHS tape <laughs> that he tests our VCR compost with. So, um, Yeah, I was wondering, I can't see what they said, and Veranda Files is a pretty much a regular around here, and I'm like, huh, is somebody getting trolly? Um, but they're a regular, so I was just kind of curious, but mistake. Um, yeah, you can download manuals for free for most combos, that is absolutely true. Um, a lot of times we'll tell buyers, like if we find one without the manual and they message us and inquire about the manual, we'll point them in that direction. They can download it absolutely for free and just get the, um, the machine from us. So I've got stuff to the left. It makes me think of that song. I got jokers to the left and me, clowns to the right. Here I am. Um, well, hello, Veranda Files. Um, yeah, I don't want to sing the song because we don't want me to get hit and demonetized, but uh, I've got plushies to the left of me and jeans to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle. Let's start with the plush. I didn't get a lot. Do you guys know, you don't because you don't live here and you don't go out sourcing with me, but <laughs> do you guys know um, there's a Goodwill here that now starts their Disney plush at eight and nine dollars. No joke. I swear to God, somebody, I've been saying this, it's a conspiracy for months now. I think somebody at that Goodwill literally watches my videos and starts pricing things according to what I talk about. Um, because all the Disney plush are now eight and nine dollars. They've started marking up the Build-A-Bears and the Silver Jeans. I'm like, these people are watching me. <laughs> Oh, Veranda Files. She didn't mean to whack you with the wrench. It was an accident. Um, no, I didn't get any monkeys, Donatella. I think you have, I think you have all the monkeys in the whole world. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Donatella bought a lot over the weekend of over a hundred monkeys. She got a really good deal on it too. I'm jealous. I got a little poo ball. Trina says the one closest to her started marking up the uh, Build-A-Bear. Yep, they do that. So this one was actually 50 cents. The Goodwill that's closest to me still does the uh, basket up front where they put the plush they're trying to move out, and then they're all 50 cents. Now his tush tag's real worn, but it is Disneyland, and he's a real nice little fuzzy, cute little poo. 400 monkeys. 
Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Donatella's listing us. Um, Nala. You guys know I just sold the Nala for like $25 a couple weeks ago. So I absolutely wanted a 50 cent Nala. Um, she's authentic Lion King. 50 cents. Hello, Reseller King. Welcome in. And Mario, thank you for joining us. This was not 50 cents. He was $1.99, and I was absolutely okay with paying $1.99 for him. They also had um, Mike, the little round monster, his friend. He was $2.99, and I actually would have been okay with paying $5 for the pair, because I think if I could have sold them together, I could have gotten 30 and up for the pair, um, including shipping. But Mike was really dirty. Like, his teeth, they looked really yellowed, and he had... Um, he just looked yellowed. Like, it wasn't anything I thought I could get out with my awesome. It looked like he lived in a smoker's house. He just was really yellow. He didn't smell good. He had a lot, he was just, he had a lot wrong with him. Um, and he was $2.99, and I'm, I didn't want to pay two ninety nine for him if he was in that bad a condition. If he would have been in as good of condition as Sully here, I definitely would have paid $5 for the pair and sold them together. But I just took Sully home with me, and he's a, um, official Disney Monsters, Inc. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for coming in Rosie's Closet. Welcome in. So, this is Sully. And there's his price tag. You guys can see I paid $1.99. I really wish Mike would have been in um, better condition. I like selling plush like that in pairs, like with their buddies or their friends. Um, they do really well like that. You guys, look at him. Isn't he cute? He was 50 cents. 50 cents for uh, Eeyore here. I don't know if he has a tushy tag. Let's undress him and find out. I don't see a tush tag. But he does have um, Disney World plaque thing on his foot. You see that? And he has a little basket. And look inside the basket. Look at the little cute eggs. Oh my god. He is so adorable. And he's got uh, wires in his ears so you can move him around. And Easter is right around the corner, so I absolutely picked him up for 50 cents. I'm going to have a hard time letting him go. He is just so cute. I mean, those little eggs. Just checking the, the chat real quick. Yeah, I like Sully too. I think he's cute. I like the Monsters, Inc., actually. $16 for silver jeans? That is crazy i saw prices like that in florida on silver jeans they would have them up front in their boutique and they'd be 16 or 20 bucks for the most part ours keeps them at 6.99 which they start all jeans at 6.99 at our goodwills regardless of whether they're walmart brand or silver um and then they have the special ones they mark up. So they're still putting lucky jeans at 20 bucks and miss me jeans at like 30 or 40. And sometimes I'll look out and find a pair of those for 6.99 that maybe an employee didn't know what they had when they marked it. And occasionally I'll find them for 99 cents. I have found miss me jeans for 99 cents before. Um, but there's not very many brands I'd pay 6.99 for and lucky brands, not one of them. I won't pick up lucky unless it's 99 cents anymore. Um, oh, Noelle's here. Hi, Noelle. Thanks for coming. Michelle, Nitty Gritty Picker. Can I wash plush? Yes and no. Um, I actually have an entire video on how we clean and prep our plush to um, list them. If you have time later and you feel like watching it, it's actually in the playlist of um, plush tips and tricks. It's not that long of a video, but um, it actually goes into a lot of detail about how to wash them, how not to put them in the dryer, and how to spot clean them and the products and stuff that I use. Um, she looks like a chance, that, kind of true story, except um, certain places still have 99 cent Sundays. I know that Megan Mawinney, she lives in Washington, she also has 99 cent Sundays. So I can't really boycott my goodwill um, because without our 99 cent Sundays, we wouldn't have a volume based bread and butter part of our business so this guy was also 50 cents I got lucky in the 50 cent bin this weekend I got a lot of really good items out of there 
he is a Walt Disney World and he's Tigger and he's so cute he has a little hat and his little vest he's like a safari Tigger running out of room to put stuff I'm gonna knock my camera over again all right I think that is all the plush so I didn't really get that many but I did get all the really good ones out of the 50 cent and Sully was the only one I paid full price for So this we picked up because it was new with tags. It was full price. Our t-shirts are $1.99 full price at our Goodwill. And it's it's a Christmas shirt, but you guys know that I always say I list all the things all the time. I don't care about seasonality. Um, it's Snoopy. It's $1.99 and it's new with tags. So yes, we picked it up. Your Rolo printer arrived. Awesome. Your life is going to change. When you guys switch over to that, we have a Dymo, but when you switch over to the sticky labels versus printing them out, cutting them, taping them to the package, it is a game changer. It changes your life. It makes shipping so much easier and less complicated. So this is a brand I've never heard of before, y'all. But I don't care because it was 99 cents. Red was our 99 cents tag. And it's 100% leather. So here's the thing about leather and suede coats. If I find them for 99 cents, I don't care what brand it is, I buy them. And even the really cheapo generic ones can go for 20 plus shipping. Um, they do really well on, pl on plush. They do really well on Poshmark as well. So anytime I find a genuine leather or suede coat, I don't care the brand. If it's 99 cents, it's coming home with me. Uh, we have the... We have the store that costs $60 a month. It is totally, I can't remember what it's called. Keith? He's not listening to me. Keith, what's our store called? Premium? Probably. It's probably the premium. It's the one that's $59.95. Um, we get like 100 or 1,000 listings. 1,000? Mm -hmm. We get 1,000 listings a month, and then we pay $0.10 cents for every listing after that. Um, but we have so many, we have like nine, almost 1,900 listings. I think it's at 1,830 right now if you were to look. We have some unsolds and stuff. Um, we're paying for listings by the second week of the month just because of the amount we have. But we don't list enough or we list enough to justify the next step up. So we'll just stay where we're at for now. Premier Premium. Um, these were 99 cents. And they're Jessica Simpson. Okay, I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I do really well with the Jessica Simpson and the um, Jennifer Lopez jeans. Any size, if they're 99 cents, I'll pick them up. I won't pay more than that. Um, but I don't focus on like plus sizes. For some reason, the JLo and Jennifer, no, yeah, JLo <laughs> and Jessica Simpson do well for me. These are just skinny jeans. They're dark wash. And they're called Kiss Me Jagging, and I believe they're a size 32. So, I mean, 32 is a bigger size. Uh, on Poshmark, 32 waist and up is considered plus size, actually. Oh my gosh, I remember those days, G. Jasso. I remember those days. The first time we ever had more than 30 packages, it was like the first time there was a three-day weekend when we first sold that many ever and that was when we decided we were buying a Dymo because we had to cut and tape 30 some labels and then wait for them to print out one by one and it used up all our printer ink and it was a it was a, it was a mess we were so frustrated so that was when we switched over it is definitely a game changer hi Tina thanks for coming um, 99 cents is every Sunday every goodwill in our area and then um, we used to have, most of you who've been around for a while know that we had a local honey pot, a little secret thrift store that was local to us down the street. They closed in July, but they had 99 cents Saturdays. So we used to have Saturday and Sunday where we could hit two different stores and get the 99 cents. The first pair of jeans you sold on Macari were J-Lo. Yeah, I do good with the uh, celebrity brands, but I wouldn't pay more than 99 cents. 
So these are just Gloria Vanderbilt, but look at the print. You guys that know me by now know that if it's 99 cents, I don't care about the brand if they're cute because cute prints will sell. Now these are like capris, so yes, it's still winter, but that's okay. Um, I feel like somebody in warm weather will buy them or they'll still be here in the summer, whatever. Clothes are long tail. Thrifty Falconer's wife is in the house. Hello. These are Old Navy. Again, mostly purchased for the print. They're like gray with black flowers. And they're size 14. Old Navy is one of the brands. If it's size 14 and over and 99 cents, I grab it anyway. Um, this is actually what I used to always wear before I discovered not your daughter's jeans. This was my favorite type of jeans, the Old Navy Rockstar and the Sweetheart. But anyway, these were cute and they're 14, so. Uh, nah, these are another pair of Jessica Simpsons, 99 cents. And these are really, really dark wash. They're also skinny jeans. They're another pair of Kiss Me Jagging. So I got two pairs that were very similar. Um, these are a size 29 though. Shelly Sweet Finds, yay, you caught me live, thank you. You're close to the 80s here in Phoenix. Okay, so here's the thing. Tomorrow, our high is gonna be seven. <laughs> our high tomorrow is gonna be seven. This was full price, $1.99. But, you know, I don't even know if she's really popular anymore. But whenever I see um, concert shirts or celebrities or singers, for $1.99, why not? And it's official. So I do want to mention that to you guys. If you ever see concert t-shirts and they aren't like an official brand, you'll see like the Gildan, the Fruit of the Loom, the Hanes. If, if it's one of those tags inside, don't risk it because a lot of times those are bootleg or ripoff concert shirts and you can get in a lot of trouble with eBay. You can even get your account suspended. So if you find your concert t-shirts, just check your tags and make sure they're authentic concert t-shirts and not just something someone printed on a t-shirt they got at Kmart or Walmart. Hi Thrift Mind, thanks for coming. These are 7-7. Seven, seven. These are a really good bread and butter brand. If you're okay with selling the mediocre brands, um, I am, because I get them for 99 cents. <laughs> seven Seven's a really good just bread and butter brand. I wouldn't pay more than like two bucks for them at the most. And they also have, here, the Seven Seven. They have a plus size line of 7-7 that says Melissa McCarthy 7-7 seven, seven plus size now those I would pay money for I would pay up for those um just because they have Melissa McCarthy's name on them and they're plus size they go for a lot more and they go really fast I've only ever found like three pair though it's not like they're all over the place in the wild but these are just regular 7-7s seven, they're a size 29 but they were 99 cents <clears throat> You still handwrite all your items. You do risk it if it's a vintage shirt. I don't know if I would or not. I'm like so scared of getting in trouble all the time with the eBay. I'm like one of those people my whole life, everyone around me could be doing something that's wrong and getting away with it. And then I even think about doing it and I'm the one that goes down. My luck. Y'all. I paid $6.99 for this pair. No, I did not. <laughs> I saw the brand and I was just about to go, oh yeah, sure, I paid full price for that. Of course I did. No, these were 99 cents. These are mech buckle. Now, while BKE buckle women's jeans have tanked, these still do really well. Now that I've told you that, they won't. Don't be buying these and raising to the bottom. Hi, Jamie. Thank you for tuning in while you're driving. I appreciate it. Hi, tomorrow 52. Just been saying, I say 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know, because it has 7-7. Seven, seven. I think that's how Casey says it, too. 7-7. Seven, seven. Anyway, these are the Vegas boot cut. 
the Mac has like names and styles. It's really cute in the back, see? These I usually start around 30 or 35, depending on the style, until they get, you know, tanked and ran to the bottom as well. These I got because they were 99 cents. They're not that great of a brand. Vigos or Vigos, however you say it, but these are cute. These are cute. And sometimes it's about style and not brand. It's sometimes it's about a shirt with nice graphics or jeans that are just really cute. Look at the buttons. They're shiny. The back is cute. They're um, dark wash with fade. They've got damage, rips, distressed. They're flare, they're low rise. Um, and they're a long length, which is 33. For women, that's a really long length and it's a harder link for women to find so you can charge a little bit more for it. I think I'm, I've got some jeans to the right, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Keith's shirts here. I don't um, Carbon Black, so this is an okay brand. It's a bread and butter. He picked it up for 99 cents, but it's just a nice looking men's button front with brown and blue and white stripes. Y'all, you see my little greedy face? I love Pearl Snap shirts. I don't care what brand we pick them up. All the brands, but look at what brand this is. Uh, the BKE buckle brand for men still does really well. The jeans do really well. They flip faster and for a lot more money than the women's. And the men's BKE, sh BKE shirts still do really well. We haven't ever found a Pearl Snap yet, but we were very excited to find. There's a bunch. We found a whole bunch. I will be showing them all to you. Um, some of them were 99 cents and some of them were full price. This one was full price, so it was $5. This is Perry Ellis. Again, not really a great brand, but 99 cents. And again, it's about the style sometimes. This has got a really nice paisley print. It's a bigger size too. What is this? This is a extra large. This is um, this is Carbon. It's an okay brand. We pick it up for 99 cents all the time. They make men's button front shirts that are just, you know, nice looking. Just recently sold some Mech for 32. Yeah, Mech is still good. Um, I like, I like them because they do well on eBay and Poshmark. Um, oh. This was full price. This was $1.99 because it's a t-shirt. Harley Davidson. Y'all ever see Harley Davidson anything? Get it? It's still popular. It still does well. I've even sold the Harley Davidson little plush like the pig and the eagle with their little leather vests and hats. Holy cow, Noel! you're going to have three. You've been busting your butt harder than I've been busting my butt. Our listings right now, I think, are 1830. Um, for us, that's horrible because <laughs> we try to stay around 2000. So that can tell you something. <laughs> um, but no, that's amazing. That is wonderful. I'm so happy for you. So excited. Um, it, for those of you that don't know, I've been riding Noel's butt since, since uh, open when I met her in Vegas and telling her to get her butt in gear and get to work. She's got really good stuff in her store, too. She's got some really unique items, like hard goods and stuff. So good for you, Noelle. Now now when I see you in open, I won't have to ride your bed again, right? Um, these are Jennifer Lopez, speaking of. And these are green. And I know I've said this a thousand times to you guys, but the collared jeans do well for me. I, I thought that was like an 80s or 90s fad that went away, but... I, I sell purple and pink and green, um, yellow even. People still like them. And these are um, skinny ankles when they have the zipper on the ankle. So I got them for 99 cents. 
Um, I get, yeah, anything Harley I'll get. Regardless, it'll sell. I even sold one time I found a, a plain, plain blue fleece sweatshirt pullover. So no buttons, no zippers, just like a pullover plain blue sweatshirt. And it just had Harley Davidson written right here in white. And then on the sleeves, it had two holes, like somebody that had it, had cut those holes to put their thumbs through, you know? And even with the holes in it and how plain it was, I got like 25 bucks for it. So, hey Chris, thanks for coming in. How are you? Chris is one of my new subscribers who likes to call me Flippy and it makes me smile every time I read it. I guess it's better than calling me a hippo. <laughs> uh, I've been called worse. These are Tony Hawk. These are men's jeans. 99 cents. Um, Tony Hawk is hit or miss. We sometimes pick up Tony Hawk shorts, jeans, or shirts, and they'll sell really fast, and they go for quite a bit. And then some of them sit around, and they go for a lower. Um, but I'm willing to risk it for 99 cents. And the size on these is a 32 by 34, which is really good, because most men wear 32, like average. And 34 is a good length, so... I picked up some Tony Hawk jeans for 99 cents. Um, if you're working while you're listening, I do not care. I'm happy that you're working. There's a lot of people that like to listen to me while they list and they um, work while they listen. And that's cool. We should all be working all the time. Well, except for, you know, when you need me time. Hi, Roger Lund. Yep, you caught me live. Yeah, Noelle's going to be paying for her open with her eBay money, so she's got to keep on it because I will be devastated if I don't get to see her again. You guys, Noelle was so much fun in Vegas. Um, she's a great person. Chris Bragg has been selling like crazy. Yeah, us too. Um, I didn't do my Instagram post yet today because I got right online when we got home from the post office, um, but I got right online. I got right on the live show. Um, we have like eight go out today. That's like below our 0.5% sell through rate by one. And Tuesdays are usually slow for us. We usually only get three or four on Tuesday. So, um, we've definitely turned that corner. I think, um, the, there's been theories that, you know, the government shut down affected sales or now people are getting their tax checks back. Um, for whatever reason, sales seem to be doing better for a lot of folks. And just keep in mind, if you're a used clothing reseller, our Q4 is more like um, March and April. That's when used clothing sellers sell a lot of clothes. Hi, Trina. Well, bless you for always showing up. You're always here, and I really appreciate it. Uh, Trina's a longtime viewer. She watches all the live shows, even when she's driving. She's, she's been here from, from the beginning, pretty much. So I absolutely appreciate you always showing up, Trina. That's really cool of you. Yeah, Donatella had a slow day today, but she's been kicking butt. She's been showing pictures of what she's shipping in, in our Facebook group. She's been doing really amazing. Yeah, stay firm on your prices. Stop racing to the bottom. But that was a whole other video I ranted in. Here's another BKE pearl snap. This one's like a long sleeve. It's like a long sleeve. Can you guys like tell that I'm from like the West Coast originally? <laughs> this has the darker black pearl snap. This one's really pretty. I'm trying to find the tag. Full price, so like five bucks. Here's another one. This one was 99 cents. BKE. This one's not a pearl snap. It's just the button front. But it's still a really nice shirt for 99 cents and for BKE. Yes, you listen while you're driving, not watch. That's what I meant. Um, Lance, you guys know Lance. Um, reselling to Recovery, he's one of my mods. He actually puts it in, plays it through the radio while he's driving and listens. Joe's jeans, 99 cents. Joe's jeans is a brand I'll pick up any size. Um, I'd pay up to like 354 for them. 
they're kind of one of the ones that when I finally found them, they weren't disappointing. And I don't know if it's because they were, you know, raised to the bottom on those two. Oh, well, thank you so much, Chris. We absolutely appreciate you, um, your support and buying the guide. And I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad that it's helpful for you. It's got a lot of information in it, so I think it's cool. And we actually, when we were putting it together, we learned a lot. So I, I, I feel like if, it, if we learned from it, then it's going to be good for everybody to learn from it. J. Crew, No, I'm not crazy. J. Crew does good on Poshmark, guys. 99 cents. Do-do-do. This is just a plain old shirt. We picked up some stuff for um, Keith's sister. Oh, my goodness. This is Ryan Seacrest. Ha! Huh. Talk about getting your celebrity shirts. I don't even know if this is going to do that well, but it was 99 cents, and it's got this cool stuff. I don't know what you call that. What do you call that? I don't know. It's fancy pants. It looks like a vampire shirt. It's fancy pants. Rockin' Republic, 99 cents. Again, this is a hit or miss brand. Um, I tend to do really well with Rock and Republic if I get them, them that are, now I sound Southern, if I get the Rock and Republic that are fancy, have the nice pockets or something unique going on with them, and I won't pay more than 99 cents. These have like the fun, we call these the frog pockets. Hey Donald, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Um... Hi, Valerie. First of all, thank you for coming in and thanks for watching. Um, you know, I share my closet twice a day and I'm in a share group. So total time on Poshmark, including posting, maybe two and a half, three hours a day, a little bit less if I'm really focused and going fast. But for the most part, the most time I spend it on Poshmark a day is probably three hours. And the most of that is late at night while I'm watching TV. Um, I can do it in a recliner on a heating pad if my back hurts. So it's not like it's hard work. It just, it takes time. So sometimes I'll plug in a movie at the end of the night and do my posh sharing. Um, but for the most part, two, three hours. But that includes everything, cross-posting and um, sharing everybody from my share group and sharing my closet. So if you just wanna share your own closet two or three times a day, um, it depends on how many items you have and how fast you get. You get faster, the better, the more you do it, obviously, like anything you get faster. We have like maybe 900 items in our closet and it takes me like 20, 30 minutes to share it. Um, but it used to take me 20 to 30 minutes to share 300. So that just tells you that you know, you get faster and better, I think. Um, oh, thank you, Chris. I appreciate you for saying that. I appreciate you for saying that. I just can't speak English today. I appreciate you saying that. Ryan Seacrest graduated from Trina's High School, everybody. Did you know him at all? Like, in passing, even? That would be so cool. Oh, it's a tuxedo shirt. Thank you, Donatella. I appreciate you pointing that out. Um, it just makes me think of Lestat or um, Louis, the vampires from Interview with the Vampire. That's what it makes me think of. Especially if it would, you know, it does, it has big cuffs. Makes me think of vampires. Hi, Teresa, thanks for coming in. Yeah, you can watch the replay at your leisure when you have time. Um, yeah, Holly is my... Etsy group. I don't do Etsy at all. Holly does. So whenever people ask me questions about Etsy and I tell you, I'll get back to you. I'll find the answer for you. That's who I'm going to. <laughs> Holly's my Etsy go to person. Oh, he was gone before you went. French cuffs. Yep. The French cuffs. They just remind me of vampires. All right. These are NYDJ Nacho Dada's jeans. This is the brand that I currently wear. Mostly I have one pair of Wranglers that I really like. And side note, um, I live in jeans and t-shirts and all of my jeans that I wear were 99 cents. I always find them on 99 cent day. Most of my shirts too. 
like the comic book shirts you guys see me wearing, I always find them on um, 99 Cent Day. Holly, the original Steve. Oh, Valerie, thank you so much for that super chat. You get a little dancing hippo. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. That's really awesome of you. I was like all flabbergasted about Holly saying Steve went to her high school. So these are more seven sevens. Just plain. But they were 99 cents. They're size eight. I'm talking so much. I'm not really getting anywhere on this. Canyon River Blues, Pearl Snap. I don't know that we would get this brand unless it was a Pearl Snap and 99 cents, but it's it's a Pearl Snap. The original Steve. He was a drug addict, I heard. I remember when he left. My oldest son, who's now going to be 18, um, when Steve left and Joe came on, he was devastated. No Joe, he used to say. No Joe, or no Joe, because he didn't want Joe. He wanted Steve. No Joe. Um, Bonanza, you can just sync it to your eBay. If you have five minutes later on, I have a video on how to set your Bonanza up and sync it to your eBay. You set it once and you never have to mess with it again. And the video is like five minutes or less. It's in the playlist, um, Hasty Hippo Hits. It's like a really short video. It's a walkthrough screen share. It'll show you how to set that up. And Donatella, you literally set it up one time, walk away. You won't make a lot of sales, but there's no effort. So it's just extra money. I like Bonanza because it's no effort. Like we may make one or two sales a month, but that's another stream of income. That's extra money we weren't counting on and no work. You set it up the first time and that's all the work you ever have to do. More Joe's jeans, 99 cent, white. La 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 la. This is Boss. I think it says Hugo Boss. Okay, it's Hugo Boss. I don't know. It was 99 cents. It's like a sweater polo. That was a key find. Uh, Briggs, New York. Now, this is a brand I normally would not touch with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> but, there's a big but here. Number one, they were 99 cents. Number two, they are a plus size, which I'm looking for and not finding. I remember seeing it at the store. I believe they were 20W or 22W. But they are a plus size. They were 99 cents and they're cute. Look at that. Those little fruits on them. Little, um, I just knocked my babe over if you heard that big noise. Little watermelons and cherries and pineapples. I don't know, I thought they were cute. Well, see, I didn't know about that, Holly. If you guys check in on your Bonanza, you get rewards and you can get credit off your invoices. I've never checked in. That's one of those things that to me was set it and walk away forever. Uh, $6.99. I paid for these. They're men's, which makes them even more exciting. Because men's is always more exciting than women's. Sell for more money and they sell faster. These are men's mech buckle. And they are awesome. Check out, they have the stress and the um, rips and holes and tears and all that good stuff that people love, the factory distressing. And the back pockets are nice and they're good size. They're 38 waist, 34 length. So you bet your bottom dollar I paid $6.99 for those. Yeah, I need to start doing the Bonanza reward thing as well. Um, I did not know that. That's one more thing I don't have time for, but I'll find time. I'm magic that way. This is another BKE Pearl Snap. 
This was another 99 cent one. This one has white buttons and it's long sleeve. It takes literal seconds. That's something I could do over my coffee. So that's cool. I have not heard of the Cowgirl Tough Company. This is Mercantile Flex by J. Crew. And again, J. Crew may not be, you know, that great on eBay anymore, but it does well on Poshmark. You can get more money for it over there. We still list it on both. We, we cross post everything, but I shouldn't say everything. Everything that's on Posh is also on eBay, but some of the stuff we put on eBay we wouldn't put on Posh, if that makes sense. Another BKE Pearl Snap. This one was full price for $5. It's got the dark buttons, brown long sleeve plaid. That was a lot of BKE Pearl Snap shirts. Two, well no, the one wasn't a Pearl Snap, so one of them was $0.99, cents, the rest were 5 this is a Tommy Hilfiger polo. Again, Tommy Hilfiger is just like, I don't know. But this was 99 cents. And it had a cool patch on it. So somebody might buy it. Uh, well, no, I'll have fun. We're doing our grocery shopping tonight as well. We usually go on Wednesdays, but since, you know, our high tomorrow is 7 degrees. We're gonna get it out of the way tonight so we don't freeze to death. So have fun grocery shopping. Thanks for stopping in and seeing me. So this is Old Navy. It's a wool blend. 71% wool and it was 99 cents. It's like a pico, double breasted, nice red coat. It has a belt. I guess the belt fell out. I'll have to put that back on. Hi, Heidi. Thanks for coming in. Have a good week, Noel. Keep listing. List, list, list. This is a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. You know, you guys, sometimes we go weeks and weeks without ever finding a single Pearl Snap. And then it's like if you find one, you find 15 or 20. They're always in bunches. You always find a bunch, a ton. Like maybe one person got rid of their whole closet. This one has like the white stripes. Hey, welcome in Thrifter Junker Vintage. Your first time catching me live. Um, more J. Crew. These are the matchstick, 99 cents. I'm just tossing stuff everywhere. I'm gonna have a mess. This is Bamboo, Bamboo K. It's a Hawaiian shirt, 99 cents. It's got embossed graphics. If you can see them. I have no depth perception. I'm a nerd. Joanna, you did your, it was 16 degrees. I unfortunately have to wait for Keith to go because I can't lift anything. So we have to do, we, that's why we do our shipping so late in the afternoon as well. I have to wait for him to do a lot, but I do what I can by myself. This is an extra large. We've never heard of this brand and it was full price. So it's five bucks, but seeing what this is, we're gonna comp it. And if it's not worth very much, Keith is going to keep it for himself. He really liked this one. Um, but he wants to comp it before he decides that he's going to keep it for himself. Because if it's worth money, he'd rather sell it. But look at that. Look at that cool dragon. And he's on the front as well. You can see him. It is the coolest like blue dragon ever. The shirt is so awesome. It's silky too. I wonder what the material is. Polyester, but it feels nice and silky. So yeah, we're gonna comp this and if it's not worth very much money, this is gonna be in Keith's closet because he really liked it. Um, 
this is a tension. Again, yeah, kind of not that great of a brand, but the shirt's nice. And for 99 cents, you know. Just get it. I like clothes that make noise. I used to, when my kids were little, I used to um, coach their soccer. And we'd all wear those pants. <laughs> this is North End. It's a, okay, I just sold the North End women's windbreaker coat on Poshmark for like, I think it went for like 18 or 20. And this is a men's extra large, 99 cents. It's just like a track jacket windbreaker. These are Chico's So Slimming, 99 cents. Y'all ever see Chico's So Slimming or So Lifting? Any size, grab it, snatch it. Don't pay more than like three bucks though. Um, they sell, these have a really good turnaround rate, especially for clothing. Um, the sell through rate on these is amazing. They're pretty fast. Most of the ones I put up go within a week and they go for like 25, 30 bucks, depending on the size and stuff. Um, and I do, I always get them for 99 cents, but the So Slimming and the So Lifting. And um, don't be buying them and racing to the bottom. <laughs> I feel like I have to put that disclaimer on every bolo I share with you guys now. I will come after you if you ruin my jeans or my Chico's or my Silver's. But yeah, those will go for like 30 bucks if they're a big enough size. No sales at all? That's poop. When we were in Florida visiting Casey, the Rockstar Flipper, and uh, Sydney, you guys might know her, she's the posh boss. We went to a bunch of thrift stores and they all were like really high priced. I was saying at the beginning of this video, like their silver jeans were like 20 bucks. And their Goodwills there do not do sales. Um, then on the way home we drove, we stopped in South Carolina and their Goodwills had like half off day and really good brands. So I guess it just depends on your region and where you're at. And some people get lucky with sales and some don't. You just have to make do with what's around you. Um, do you guys have the Benz Reseller King? That might be an option. This is Levi's. It's a pearl snap. <laughs> uh, lots of pearl snaps. I'm telling you, you guys, always we find these in herds, hordes, herds. Can shirts all together be a herd? This is another J. Crew for 99 cents. Men's button front. Long sleeve. Oh, that's nice. I think it's purple. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. It's purple and the stripes are yellow. This is a nice shirt. They have nice clothes. This is Wrangler, not a pearl snap, but it is a nice shirt, button front. And it looks like I have one more thing, one more thing to show you guys. Talbots, not really a brand that I would say is definitely a bolo, but this was 99 cents and corduroys. And I do really well with corduroy pants. Any size, any brand, any color. I, I get them if I find them for 99 cents. Because they do really well. Three hours away. Um. <clears throat> no, we don't really do the bends anymore. We were going like once or twice a month just for kids clothes because we have a place where we send our kids clothes to that consigns them for us um but i've got like two boxes of kids clothes waiting to ship out right now and we get 99 cents off the rack so we don't really go now when i read out when i when i ship these two boxes because they have a limit on how many boxes you can ship a month and we had so many kids clothes that we just had boxes full when we finally ship all of them in will i go back probably um 
if I really start getting into the shoes, probably, because that's probably the best place to be getting a lot of shoes. But right now we don't, it's just not my style. Like, I, I'm not big on crowds or Black Fridays or <laughs> craziness, but there are times you can go, I guess, when it's kind of calmer and there's less people. So I will need to go back for kids' clothes because by the pound, they're so cheap. And then we don't work, we don't do any work. You know, we just fill up a cart and you get a ton of them. They're really cheap. We wash them, dry them, fold them, and ship them. And then we get our commission. So that's a nice, like, low effort stream of income. And then, like I said, if I get into the shoes, I probably will want to go to the bins. eBay is sending you shipping fees for postage. Did they really do that? I know a bunch of people that printed their labels out on Saturday before the postage went up and then mailed on Monday. We didn't. Um, and they're hitting you for the difference. That's crazy. That is crazy. Because, like, there's people that do that normally, even without the increase, but they like, print it ahead of time. Best day ever, Valentine's Day at the Benz. That would be like a nightmare for me and Keith. Um, we're, we really don't like crowds and we're German folks. I know that's really weird but because we thrift. But um, it's just not. But if we could go to like a flea market or um, get everything for 99 cents and go, go Goodwill hopping on Valentine's Day, that would be the best day for us. Um, especially if we had a hamburger that day too, because that's our favorite thing to eat. But anyways, you guys, we're closing in on the hour. Uh, how do I ship plush? It depends on the plush. Honestly, there's no easy answer for that. There's a lot of things that come into play when I decide how I'm going to ship it. Does it have a hang tag? Does it have glass eyes? How much does it weigh? Did I charge them for shipping? Um, is it going in a box? I actually have a video in the plush tips and tricks playlist if you want to look it up later. I have a video on how we ship our plush and I talk about all the variables and um, how to ship them depending. We just printed our labels out yesterday. Um, we had a lot of heavy items go that we had charged calculated on and then everything else was first class so we didn't really worry about it we just printed them yesterday so you guys if you have any last minute questions go ahead and shoot them in the chat real quick um i don't want to keep you longer than an hour because i know everybody's time is very valuable my throat is so dry and i would like to thank valerie once again for the generous ten dollar super chat that was pretty amazing i really appreciate that and uh Thank you to all of my mods that were here. Lance couldn't be here. He's at work. But I saw Jamie stop in. I saw Holly. Justin's sick, you guys. If you guys know Justin, RBA Flips, stop in his Facebook group if you can. and wish him well. He's been really sick. Um, but thank you to all the all of them. Thank you to all two of you guys, the mods that were here. And for everybody that came and watched, um, I literally just popped up last minute, gave you guys 20 minutes notice that I was coming on live and over 50 of you came in to watch and I, I am humbled that you guys did that. Did you say quit drinking pop? I already drank five glasses of water today. I was looking for some kind of caffeine. <laughs> I don't drink a lot of soda. Um, I drink a lot of water and coffee usually, but I needed, I needed some caffeine, and I like Mountain Dew. It's diet. My throat gets dry from talking, not from drinking soda. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that towards every the end of every video, but anyway, I digress. Thank you to everybody that showed up. Um, I'm humbled 
It was amazing that you guys came in. As I always like to tell you guys, without you guys, there would be no Flipping Hippos. Don't forget, we are showing our appreciation to our subs by giving away a $50 Amazon gift card next Sunday. You've got to go to Instagram and comment on the post with the hippo with the balloons. You've got to do that. I am doing a random number generator and counting the comments, and that is how I'm getting the winner. So if you don't go on Instagram and comment and follow the instructions on that post, you can't win. And I want everyone to have a chance. So make sure that you go on Instagram and um, find the post with the little hippo with the balloons, follow the instructions so you can absolutely be entered and we'll be drawing the winner on my live show on Sunday night. You don't have to be present at the live show to win, but you do have to be in the comments on that Instagram post. And um, we are giving away $50 Amazon gift card. Um, so everybody go be productive. Have a great night. I will try to stay warm. Um, go do something awesome and amazing. Don't forget to give yourself me time, but don't give yourself too much. Go be productive. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for coming in. Um, you guys are amazing and I love you. Bye.